What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be doing a complete hero guide for one of the fan favourite characters in Star Wars Battlefront 2, Darth Maul. In these hero guides we are going to be covering everything that could possibly need, covering from base stats, ability stats, the best star cards for Galactic Assault and Supremacy as well as some of the best maps to choose them on, some general tips for those game modes, the best star cards for heroes vs villains and hero showdown, which enemy characters you need to look out for and then lastly covering some general tips for the hero game modes as well. So as you can see this guide is going to be breaking down every single aspect of the hero. If you're new around here and you end up enjoying this video then be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Battlefront. 2 content and be sure to hit that notification bell as well so that you are notified each time I upload more videos like this moving forward. But with that out of the way, let's get stuck right into it. So starting off with Maul's base stats and to be completely honest he doesn't have the best stats by any means, some areas are pretty decent and others not so much so his stats are definitely a little bit hit and miss. Starting off with his base HP, he has 700 which is the equal lowest of any saber hero in the game and as for how much health he can regenerate at once, his regen is 250 which is the average for saber heroes. In terms of his saber damage, he deals 120 damage from the front and 150 damage from behind so he can still one hit kill enemies from behind like pretty much every other saber hero However, those stats are obviously slightly lower than the average saber hero damage stats now making up for that slightly He does have pretty solid stamina stats swinging his saber in 1.9 times per second Which is up near the top compared to most other saber heroes He can swing 14 times before running out of stamina However, he does have a rather weak blocking stamina comparatively being able to block only 10 lightsaber attacks before he runs out of stamina Which is mostly due to the fact that he actually never had a block originally so I think the devs did make it pretty weak when they added it just to sort of keep him somewhat balanced now moving on to his abilities and he has a fairly well-rounded set of abilities none of them are anything special but they all really suit his playstyle and arguably define his playstyle honestly since he is probably more dependent on them than most other saber heroes his left ability is called furious throw and this just causes Maul to throw his saber out in front of him damaging anyone that it hits along the way it deals 85 damage per hit which is definitely not the best compared to Vader's, however, it is slightly faster and it also has a bigger area of effect, so that does kind of make up for it, and it can actually deal damage if it hits enemies on the way back as well, so you can essentially deal 170 damage if you do land two hits with it. It also only has a 7.5 second cooldown, which definitely adds to its value as well. Moving on, we have his middle ability, which is called Choke Hold, and this one causes Maul to choke and then throw anyone within the area of effect, and just keep in mind that in this arcade footage, it will just sort of kill them instantly, as Force abilities in arcade just don't work the way they do in multiplayer. As I said, this will choke enemies and then throw them off their feet, dealing 77 damage with the animation, so this can be a good finisher if an enemy is on low health. This one requires an 18 second cooldown, which is pretty much what you would expect for the ability of this nature. Now, for his right ability, we have Spin Attack, and this one just sends Maul leaping forward dramatically, spinning his saber wildly and damaging anyone that it hits along the way. It deals 100 damage per hit, and similar to Yoda, which I actually think I forgot to mention in his guide, it can actually deflect blaster bolts as well, which is also very handy. The ability does also have two uses, with each use taking five seconds to cool down before it becomes available. So that is it for all of his base stats and abilities, and now we're going to move on to some tips for Galactic Assault and Supremacy, starting off with his best star cards. Keep in mind these cards are just a matter of opinion, there aren't really any loadouts in the game that are objectively the best or anything like that, but these are just what I find to work best in these modes. The first card I'd recommend is his lightsaber defense card, and this one just causes him to receive up to 16% less damage from blasters at all times, regardless whether it is from troopers or blaster heroes. This is the equivalent of actually having 812 HP rather than 700, at least in regards to blaster damage anyway, which probably accounts for like 95% of the damage you take, so this one is a no-brainer. The second card I'd recommend is the Flow Motion card, this one just allows Maul to use one extra spin attack at the cost of a 10% slower recharge rate. This ability is honestly so important to how you play Maul, and I'll touch on that a little bit more once we get into the general tips, but without a doubt this is one of those cards that you absolutely need to be running in these modes. The third card I'd recommend is the Ranged Throw card, and this one just increases the throwing distance of his Furious Throw ability by up to 50%. Now, this one isn't necessarily the most popular third card, however, I personally love to use it because more often than not, it actually allows your Saber Throw to go through an enemy and then come back for a second hit, causing it to essentially be a one-hit kill, and so as 
as I always say, when you have the chance to turn an ability into a one-hit kill through the use of a star card, that is always a very good choice to make. Personally, these are pretty much the only three cards I tend to run in these modes. However, if you do disagree, then definitely let us all know down in the comments what you guys prefer to use. There is no right or wrong when it comes to star cards, so feel free to leave your own recommendations down below. Now, moving on to the best maps to choose him on in Galactic Assault, the three maps that I personally think he's the best on are Kashyyyk, Tatooine, and Naboo. Tatooine and Naboo are just so good due to the sort of urban style of the map, as well as the fact that you're also on offense on those maps. His fast movement within those close quarters areas makes him so hard to take out, and then honestly, Kashyyyk is just gonna be on here for pretty much every villain in the game. That map is so good for kill streaks on the dark side, pretty much regardless of who you're using. Now, moving on to some general tips for Galactic Assault and Supremacy, and like I mentioned earlier, his abilities do really shape the way that he plays quite a bit, and although he's not quite dependent on them, they are definitely one of the strongest areas of his game. Spin Attack is probably his best ability in that it gives him so much agility and pace to move around the map. It's not all that useful for actually getting kills, honestly, since it only deals 100 damage. However, it has that perfect balance between being really good for movement as well as being really helpful with getting kills as well. One thing that I didn't learn for a long time when I started playing Battlefront 2 was that it's actually a really good idea to use Spin Attack in combination with your regular Saber Attacks rather than relying on it purely for getting kills. What I used to do a lot of the time when I was just starting out was that I would often use the ability sort of twice in a row to get a kill, hitting someone with it once and then turning around to use it again and get that second hit for a total of 200 damage. Now, sure, in a pinch, if you may be low on stamina or something, then it can be a pretty solid fallback plan if you do need it, but it's definitely not the optimal way to be using the ability. A much better alternative is actually to just hit the enemy first with your regular saber attack and then actually use the spin attack to deal that second blow, which gives you the kill while simultaneously getting you out of the action in pretty much the blink of an eye, making it very hard for enemies to hit you. This isn't necessarily something you want to be doing every single time you see an enemy, you're mostly just better off hitting them twice with your saber when it is a 1v1 or a 1v2, but what I find is that when there's a ton of enemies around it is definitely a great little combination to use, as staying on the move and making yourself a hard target to hit is just going to add to your survivability while also allowing you to still get a ton of kills since the ability and combination does obviously deal some solid damage. One thing you want to be very careful of though is to make sure you're not overdoing it with the spin attacks as they are definitely his best means of escape in a tough situation and so if you're just spamming it and then you sort of run out of uses only to find yourself in a sticky situation then that can often lead to a quick death since you can't really escape and your blocking stamina is fairly low as well so in a way his spin attack is a form of defense and it's always good to try and keep one or two uses in the pocket just in case you do need to quickly fall back and reset. Other than that, map positioning is really the only other thing you need to focus on. Like I said, he's so good in close quarters areas where his movement speed pretty much makes him impossible to track. So depending on the map, you pretty much just want to try and get yourself in the most compact close quarters areas that are available on the map. Being up on the front lines with more is a great idea if you do keep some of those spin attack uses in your back pocket because you can really get a ton of kills when you're aggressively pushing the front lines which then allows your teammates to push up and sort of help you out as well and then when you do start to take a bit of damage you can quickly fall back a bit regen your health all the while your teammates are holding the line for you to get back up there and so sort of finding that fine line of being aggressive but knowing when to play it a bit safer is definitely something you want to practice to summarize Maul's biggest strength is definitely his speed and movement especially in relation to his spin attack so be sure to make the most of that and then also be sure to play aggressively with Maul but remember that he's not a tank by any means so you do need to constantly move around and essentially play a sort of hit and run type of play style. So now moving on to the hero versus villain game modes, and to be honest, I'd rank him as probably the worst saber villain in the game when it comes to these modes. That That's not to say that he's bad at all, but he just doesn't pack quite as much of a punch as some of the others. Starting off with his star cards, and the first two cards I run are actually the exact same as his galactic assault card, so I won't bother to go over those ones once again. Now, the third card I'd recommend is the unrolled grip card, and this one just increases the area of effect of chokehold by up to 30%. Now, this one is actually mainly for defensive purposes. His blocking stamina is rather weak like I mentioned and so this one is great to deal with blaster heroes when your stamina is a little bit lower. You can pick them up and throw them much easier and more consistently with this card equipped and that is going to help save you more often than not. Now moving on to some enemies that you might need to keep an eye out for in these modes and the two that I think are the most dangerous are Luke and Leia. To be honest Han might deserve a spot on this list as well but these guys are mostly dangerous due to the speed at which they can deal damage both with Luke's saber attacks and Leia's rapid fire and so 
So even though Han can deal a lot of damage too, I think the fact that he's a little bit slower at it does give Maul a bit of a better chance against him. Now, finally moving on to just some regular tips for the hero game modes. And like I said, Maul is a little bit harder to use in these modes compared to Galactic Assault and Supremacy as he just doesn't seem to pack a punch when you compare him to the likes of, say, Vader and Dooku. And he does also lack in the health department as well as having very low blocking stamina. He's far from a bad character to use. He just has a very unique playstyle, which honestly is pretty much the exact same as his trooper game mode playstyle as well, being a bit more of a sort of hit and run type of character which just doesn't quite translate to these modes since obviously heroes are much tankier than troopers, making hit and runs just a little bit harder. The main tip I can really give is just to try your best not to spam attacks or abilities, as Maul can be really good at surviving when you constantly have a spin attack in your back pocket or a lot of stamina to block while your abilities recharge, yet if you do run out of stamina or abilities he can go down super fast, so it's pivotal to just try and manage all of your resources and try not to expend all of them at the same time. Playing with teammates is always a great idea too as it is with pretty much any hero because usually people will actually see Maul as much less of a threat than most others like Vader, Dooku, Aiden or Boba and so enemies will generally gravitate to those characters while you're then sort of free to try and take them out while they're distracted. So similar to GA that sort of hit and run almost like a, a slimy type of playstyle is generally what works best in the hero game modes. To summarise just like GA and Supremacy, you want to try and stay on the move and make yourself as hard of a target as you possibly can and then also be sure to play with your teammates and try and get the enemies off guard as that will allow for some very fast and very easy kills. So that is going to do it for this Darth Maul hero guide guys. He can be a little bit hard to use initially but he is a pretty solid character and so hopefully some of these tips can help you guys out. If you enjoyed the video and it did help you out then be sure to leave a like down below to support the channel and be sure to subscribe with those notifications on so you don't miss out on any more Star Wars Battlefront 2 content. Thank you all so much for watching. You guys have a great day and I'll catch you all in the next one.